Hey there, Wondering Watchers. I'm Sony Golden for The Vibe is Golden. Welcome to this special titillating edition of Tabloid Tarot, which unveils celebrity secrets in love, dating, and super coupling that are bound to hit the tabloids. In today's titillating tabloid tarot, we're taking a peek at an actress who plays a teenager with superpowers and her rocker offspring boyfriend. We are tossing Millie Bobby Brown's love life with Jake Bon Jovi into the spotlight to be tabloid tarot. So let's see what sensational headline we have for Millie and Jake. We have caution, strength, spring, and Miss Fortune. So it seems here that there is some type of, um, some type of event that causes Millie to maybe slow down things with Jake and kind of build her independence a bit and see kind of what develops. Possibly a reconcil reconciliation and possibly not. So let's see Millie's current feelings about the relationship with Jake. We have Four of Cups. So that is a sense of not really acknowledging what's being offered, possibly um, having a period of introspection. I'm going to clarify that. We have the King of Pentacles. So, you know, perhaps there are things going on within her own family um, having to do with uh, security and protection. Perhaps some uh, advice from someone you know, like a, a parent figure, someone who wants to protect Millie. So let's see what her hopes are with Jake. We have Knight of Wands. So she hopes to have fun and really, you know, travel with Jake, you know, experience new things and just follow, follow her passion. Let's see the strongest aspect of the connection for Millie. We have Five of Swords. And that's a sense of like winning at all costs and using your words and actions or your, um, your non-words and your non-actions to gain some type of upper hand or or victory. I'm going to clarify that. We have the Nine of Cups. So it could be that someone has already kind of said, watch out for this person, watch out for, um, you know, being young and in love. And to some degree, it might be that um, the the connection or how much they have been seen together is in rebellion to some degree of advice that someone had given her. So let's see how Millie's past impacts this relationship. Page of Pentacles. Well, basically, she is young. They're both young and learning, learning about love, learning about their self-worth. Um, so let's take a look at Jake's view of the relationship. Six of Cups. It's a sense of like, almost seems like excited friendship. Um, I'm going to clarify that. 
like young love. We have the Knight of Pentacles. So it just seems like his view is that it is just, you know, kids learning about life and having money and having fun together. Let's see about Jake's hope with Millie. We have Justice card. So it seems like basically his hope is, you know, just to balance each other out. Um, to kind of see what what they can, what kind of ruckus they can cause. I'm going to clarify that Justice card. We have the Knight of Cups. So balancing each other out, hopefully both kind of um, being romantic, having fun, dressing up, going out. Let's take a look at, um, let's look at Jake's, oops, like the strongest aspect connecting them together. We have two of wands. So it seems like for Jake, their ability to travel, to kind of do new things, explore things that are outside of their comfort zone, kind of like do whatever they want. Um, having that ability is the strongest thing that connects Millie and Jake together, at least from Jake's perspective. And so let's see about Jake's past that impacts this relationship. Ten of Swords. Okay, so there's something something in his past where maybe he has some regret um feels like he maybe was betrayed or maybe didn't get to do everything he wanted to do i'm gonna clarify that one we have the three of cups so it could be to some degree like maybe his friends have um either shut him out or some kind of ending with his friends. So to some degree, um, it's like he is creating new memories with, with Millie. So let's see about external factors that most impact the progression of the relationship. We have Knight of Swords. So someone coming in, there's someone in their environment who is the uh, person that kind of comes in and sets things straight. I don't know if that's a manager or a handler um, or a guardian. So I'm going to clarify that. Eight of Cups. Well, there's someone that is like their breaks up the party is kind of like um, someone who is going to really make them decide if this is worth pursuing. So let's see about the next step in this relationship or the outcome. We have two of cups. So it may be that this knight of swords Eight of Cups is like some type of, uh, some kind of gossip, some type of news story, some sensational headline that makes it seem like they are going to break up or someone wants to leave the relationship. Um, but it seems that they are able to overcome it. So it might be that's some type of misfortune but maybe they grow stronger together so that what happens in a, the spring, maybe this is like a short breakup um, or some kind of uh, reconciliation that comes about in the springtime. So thanks for watching this special titillating edition of Tabloid Tarot. 
We'll see you next time. Take care.